Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, and this is day five of The Crush is Real. And this level is inspired by Ken, who says, It helps me to relax after a hard day. It makes waiting for anything easier. It makes me sleepy at bedtime, and it keeps the mind sharp. Hashtag The Crush is Real. So let's see if we can get this level done in three attempts. We've got 28 moves to collect six ingredients. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can de deposit them anywhere. We've got this cutout, which makes things a little bit difficult. But thankfully, we start with a nice big area here. We've got dispensers. And then, of course, let's look at the bad things. We've got marmalade and dark chocolate and licorice locks. So that's going to take a little bit of work. I'm not going to use a booster here, but let's see what we can get done. I love the fact that I can start with a wrapped candy right away. Now notice that the chocolate can grow either upward or outward. Uh, whenever I don't take something out on a turn, it's going to go ahead and grow. Uh, this one is growing outward because there were no upwards. I've got two different brands of chocolate, I've just noticed. I've got the dark chocolate here and the milk chocolate here. So let's say I open some of this up and I've got access to dark chocolate and milk chocolate and I don't take out any chocolate on a turn. Well, then both of those have the opportunity to grow and it will not be pleasant. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take this marmalade off, hoping that the chocolate doesn't grow and cover this over. I would really love to get a striped wrapped combo. There we go. So now I can take that out. Beautiful. I'm going to make a wrapped because wrapped are just so brilliant at not only taking out the licorice locks, but then taking out other things. I could do stripes. That might not be bad. This way, this way. But I like these wrapped candies, and hopefully I'll get more opportunities to make more uh, combos. Now I could do this, which is pretty good. It would open things up, but it would set the dark, the milk chocolate loose. I could do this. It would take out some dark chocolate, and it would explode things. I actually think I want to do this. Now I was able to take out some of that milk chocolate and maybe even some dark chocolate because I don't see anything exploding. So that works well. And now look what I've been granted. I still have to get all the way over to here. That's going to be kind of tough, but look at this. I've got some things happening here. I'm going to set all, well, a lot of this off and take out dark chocolate and milk chocolate with this. Really clearing things out. And now I get to do this to open that up but I still have layers to take out here and not a lot of opportunities. This chocolate can grow now. I can make some stripes to try to help me. I think I'll take this stripe. I'm trying to go up high here. And then look at this. This is a good thing there. And then I'll set this off. So now things are sliding out. The thing is, I could win this with still having chocolate on the board. It's easier if I can get rid of the chocolate. It's kind of more of a sure thing. But if I leave chocolate on the board, as long as I can get through things, I'll be okay. I'm going to bring this down where it can create more chaos here. And I'm just going to work on what I can do below. There we go. Now what? Uh, I think I'll do this. Oh, I was trying to get more stripes in through here. That didn't work, but I got a wrapped candy. I'll take it. I'll open up this milk chocolate. I know, a little bit difficult for me. Nine moves left. I've got to make some specials in here. Oh, here we go. We'll take out a layer. How did we? Oh, we did take out a layer. It's just so thick. Wow. I need more combos. I could try to take out this, but without removing this entirely, it's not going to serve much purpose. Let's do this. A wrapped candy or a stripe? If I do this stripe, it's going to situate down here, which means it could get covered over, but it also means this could happen. So that's what I was looking for. So, most of these ingredients collected, these are still a problem. Looks like I'm going to have to do a second round at least of this. 
That's okay. Let's see where I got left. Okay, so I had two ingredients, and they were the ingredients over here that I was stuck with. So this I focused on more because I thought it was going to be harder, and so I was able to clear it, but, you know, at the expense of this. So I have to try to balance those two things. All right, let's go ahead and try. Ken, you're going to be my good luck charm. All right, let's see. Huh. I like heading downward here, I think. And, yep, let's do this. Now we've got some specials going. I'm going to make more specials. Can't really combo them, but they're all doing a good job on their own, so I'm not going to worry. This cascading is brilliant. Exactly what I need. And then I could do this, and that's not a bad move. I'm going to do this, which sets off a whole bunch of stuff. There we go. And now while this is open, if I could kind of get this out of the way, I could try to sink this. I don't know, though. Let's blow things up. I could have made a color bomb, but I wanted to try to, to blow that up all together here. And let's do striped wrapped combo. There we go. We got that side gone. Now we've got things coming through here. Look at this. If I take out a color, it'll concentrate everything else down. Right now all I can take out is purple with this, and this would be the one to remove because this one is in a better position to probably get set up with another special, especially a stripe. So let's do this. Let's just take out all purple. Now things could blow up, and indeed they are going to. But I think I've still made good progress over here, so I'm not going to worry too much. I can start bringing these stripes down below, but I don't even need it. Well, look at that. Second try, and because I understood better what I was dealing with, and because I um, probably got a little bit luckier, I was able to get this done with 19 moves left over. So that's how I beat that level. Let's see what the reward is. Now, I'm not done with this event because I didn't beat level day three in three turns. So I still have to go back to that one tomorrow because I've exhausted my opportunities. But I found out, well, I could just, you know, since I had all of the days lined up, since I hadn't played for a couple of days, I could just go to the um, additional days and play those. And, and if you're stuck on a particular day, like let, let's say you're also stuck on day three and you tried twice and you couldn't beat it, you could play one of these other levels if they're open to you and then use the boosters that you get to try to defeat that if those boosters are available for that particular level. All right, so that's it for me. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you uh, consider liking and subscribing. It looks like I have uh, 19 plus hours before I'll be able to try that one again. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.